counter-rotating props here, guys, and it's pretty, pretty nice playing here. Uh, right now we've got elevator going, um, but like I say, I got to hook up the all the other servos. Everything else works, and we'll show you the engines here, motors. <coughs> I don't know why that did that. I really don't. Hey guys, Skip here. Been working on this B25 for a while. Uh, it still had the engine running on problem, even though if I disconnect all the servos, I ran tests with multimeters and everything on every single wire in this airplane. And uh, even started, I, I went as far as to disconnect one of the ESC uh, voltage wires to uh, make one an opto and the other one uh, a standard and tried that and it still did it still would run on and then i'd you know c of course kill the throttle on my transmitter and the thing would still be going wide open for at least two or three seconds before it stops so then i decided okay i clipped the one wire so let's put that wire back and clip the other wire so i wired the one back to the other one you know where it was supposed to be and i clipped the other power wire to the other esc the red wire well tried it again same thing still does it so now i think well i've checked everything else everything else works all the stuff is in there everything should be fine so what i've done now is i turned around and i clipped both of the red wires so there is no voltage going from the receiver or, or the power system to there except for the main power that goes directly to the escs so i've made them both opto escs and plugged a uh uh an external battery into the receiver, a receiver battery in there. And I tried it, and lo and behold, perfect. Perfect behavior, everything works. The motors go on, go off, cycle up, down, everything. Everything's perfect, everything's fine. Cannot, cannot understand this one, guys. Cannot explain it. Um, it's something in both ESCs, because they both do it, uh, but only when wired together. So... <laughs> The, what I found here is this uh, was a simple solution, was uh, either an external battery, a receiver battery, or what I'm actually doing right over here right now, and I'm solder, getting ready to solder up here, is I'm going to make a little pass-through connector, and uh, I've got myself a, where did it go? Uh, i got a U-back laying around here somewhere that's going to go in here. And now I've lost it. But there's a U-back here. Okay, here's the U-back. <clears throat> this was actually very inexpensive, and it's not a very good one, but it's got plenty enough power uh, for four servos on this airplane. I mean, there's one, two, uh, the tail gear, oh, and, and the, the landing gear, of course. Um, but it's still five volts, three amps. That should be plenty enough power. Uh, we're going to try this thing in here, and that should be a, a, a done deal. So I'm going to go ahead and solder that in there, and then uh, when we come back, I'll, I'll show you the, the, the deal and... and uh, uh, it working. We'll have a perfectly working, good working airplane. And thanks to Matt out there at Motion RC, Matt, uh, one of our customer service representatives, Matt Marion, awesome guy. And he gave me the idea of disconnecting the uh, ESC power wires from the receivers one at a time to isolate which ESC it was. Well, in this case, it turned out to be both of them. So this is a good tip for anybody else out there that's ever had that issue or that problem. If you have that problem with the thing running on and you can't, you know, go, the motor's just going wide open on you um, and can't figure it out, try disconnecting the, uh, the the power wire to the ESC and just make it an opto by putting battery to, uh, power to the receiver directly and uh, see if that solves your problem like mine. So I've got a perfectly good working B25 again. It's actually going to be a little bit better, I think, having a external BEC anyway. And uh, be looking forward to getting this thing in the air soon. So hold tight, and we'll show you the thing working, finally. <laughs> Thanks. All right, guys, we're back here. And uh, what I've seen, what I've done here is I've just taken the original power lead and stuff like that. I made a pass, a very short pass-through connector that is a, a very, very tiny one there. And just put it right in, works with this. So it looks like one big plug. But I've got the UBC, or the BEC, uh, uh, connected right to it here and uh, it's always a good idea to keep these a little bit away from your receiver um, either either in this case I've got a receiver up here too, just a satellite receiver so it's going to be somewhere in the middle over on this side 
but see I've got a long enough lead on it too here that uh, I can keep it away from anything I want you know mount it up underneath if I want to set it up on top of the battery even but uh, for all intents and purposes it's uh, it's good to go now guys uh, I'll give you a quick demonstration here how it works and you can see this thing running without running on for a change yeah how about that All right, see we've got this hooked in here and uh, the battery can sit right down in there. The U-Bet can sit, uh, BEC can sit right next to, right, right alongside it in there. So that's gonna be in a good spot. Uh, let's bind up the radio here. And I'll show you guys that it doesn't fly away anymore. Everything else works. Finally, huh? How about that, guys? All the servos work. Everything. Everything else works. I do believe we got it, guys. All I needed to do was... Uh, the ESCs pull off the power wires to the ESCs from the receiver and just make uh, opto ESCs, both of them. Really funny that both of them did that. Just I've never seen anything like that before. But if any of you ever run into this, run into this problem, uh, just try disconnecting those two power wires and run a separate receiver battery or a, a, a power jubeck, and it should do the trick. Thanks for watching. This is Skip signing out.